Okay, we're ready to get back to U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh, excited to get back in front of our home fans. Um, I expect us to go play really well on Sunday, uh, execute and do the things right that uh, good teams do. Questions? And Mike, with Seattle's pass rush, it seems like they reconfigured it a little bit this offseason with Dunlap, Hyder, those guys in there. What have you seen from that group? Yeah, um, you know, Dunlap was with me in Cincinnati. Uh, you know, he's a long guy that has uh, um, good slither. And, and uh, you know, I got some power guys inside, and then they got the uh, guys on the outside that can rush. How did you feel about um, Anthony Barr's progress this week, even though obviously he's not going to play? Good. How do you kind of assess um, Dalvin Cook's chances of playing since he didn't practice all, all week? Apparently. Well, we'll see. He's he's doing much better. Did, Barry, did, he, did he do much at all today? Didn't look like he was doing anything. The part we were allowed to watch. Yeah, he did some. Barry talked about wanting to be at 100 percent, and that being very important to him to make sure he didn't have any kind of setback when he got out there. Is that part of your caution and just making sure that when you do get him out there, you want to make sure he can stay? Uh, yeah, I mean. Obviously. Mike, with, with Christian, how do you figure like the right window? Like as he's been in practice now for a couple weeks, like how do you figure out the right window to well, push? Well, he's only taking team reps this week, so we're it's a process. He took some team reps this week. He got about three reps a period. To next week, we'll get him going a little bit more, and we'll see where he's at. Do you, as a coach, do you look at like the schedule and try to figure out like a right window, or is it just literally a week to week? Week to week. Yeah. Of your two uh, new tight ends, the you know Ellison and, and Herndon, have they been in the system long enough where you, you think it'd be easier to give them a bigger role if need be? Uh, yeah, they're going to have a decent role this week, um, and, and they you know they did last week. So we'll just, um, but you know they're they're learning, you know. But uh, no, they're they're fine. With Russell Wilson going under center more, what does that do to their offense? Well, it always changes things. You know, when they when they're in a the gun, it limits some of the runs most of the time. Um, you know, when he's under center, there's a lot more play actions, and uh, there's quite a few more runs. Some of the play actions that they use with the tight ends when they bring him across the formation to block. Um, you know, typically. Are there a lot of the same like passing concepts? I know it's only two games with Shane Waldron as their OC, but do you see a lot of Rams concepts and what they're doing? Yeah, there's some, but there's some that I'm sure that he liked from last year, some of the same concepts as well. Mike, do you find that running backs, you know, maybe more so than other positions, can just kind of sit out a week in a practice and just turn it on on well, I on think Sunday? Dalvin, if you're asking about Dalvin, I think Dalvin can, yeah. So just to clarify, are you thinking that he will play on Sunday? I don't know. We'll see on Sunday. How was um, Harrison Hand able to come back as quickly as he was? Was it a false positive or something? Um, I don't know if I can say that. it was close contact. Five days. How did you like what you saw from Greg Joseph this week just bouncing back? Yeah, he did good. He seemed to have a good mindset. Good. Um, quick question on Ezra Cleveland. I mean, he's looked pretty strong in the first couple games. How would you assess how he's looked in your estimation? Yeah, I think he he's played fine. I think uh, last week he played really well.